Hey guys, it's Tanya from 4 Girls Jewelry. I'm in the mood today of making very long uh, earrings with the chains and stuff. So I uh, will not bring any measurement today because I couldn't find today my measuring tape, but this will be just as a um, motivation for you to see. Uh, I will show you how I make actually did these components because all we needed is three of them it's a lot of noises outside too because i have construction next door and uh, this idea could be also um amplified to your necklaces so if you want to make something similar it doesn't have to be this you can be on a piece of chain you can add more stones and build those long tails if you wanted to i just want to make jewelry with um i probably will change these for maybe something more delicate now when i'm working with these i think i will just change for those instead of the thick chain that i put here but it's just idea so sometimes i will film only ideas and inspiration sometimes full tutorial but today we will go with the little component here and then you can add anything you want um, your seed beads your metal beads your uh, tiny gemstones anything you want I use 18 gauge for the for the this part and this one was thinner wire I was left over I estimate it's probably i think it's 20 gauge because it's pretty thin maybe 21 i'm not sure 20 i think because it's much thinner than that and i use uh 26 because i have 26 thin wire here laying down it's like almost invisible for combining those together and i use also 24 gauge for this chain to create this chain so basically all the gauges you can use in this piece you can you can make it even thicker here uh whatever gauge you want 24 gauge for your i use 24 always for my rosary linking because i feel it's strong enough uh and then i use some chains commercially made looks so cool together so i i hope if you want to see how i made this i will quickly show how i made this part and you can guys make amazing pieces adding your own uh, beads and colors you want okay so uh, 18 gauge I use my um, uh, bail maker pliers from this company it's a, it's from Michaels and I will use the tiniest one here And uh, that's what you're striking to do to make perfect circle in the middle. Just make sure these wires like going the perfectly like this. And because I don't have a tape here, so um, basically you also decide how long this stick will be for you on both sides. So I will cut. I hate when I use waste wires. I just feel like when I wire wrap, I wanna, you know, without the camera, I will probably start here measuring and then making the loop because I don't like when it's like scraps, like even those small pieces, it's a waste. But I always collect them in my little jar and then I melt them. I melt and I create a little like a bubbles. I also melt my uh, sterling silver and I create this little bubble that I later wire wrap and make a beautiful jewelry out of it. So don't throw anything. Um, I don't even recycle. I just leave it and make it later little bubbles that I sometimes hammer. Look at this, how cool it is. It's look like a, almost like a heart. 
and I will wire wrap. I like that there is a little pieces here that I can put my wires inside out of the topic, but it just idea. Um, so we have this and um, all we have to do just hammer both sides. If you don't want to use heat, I will just hammer file because this is already filed. And now we will need a thinner wires, whatever I have here on my table. I will leave a little tail here before I start I'm using the same one, same size, and I will start making start making a little windows for my later rosary linking. So we have two two three Three. I need five. Three, four, four. Try to uh, even space them nicely. So that's for by wrapping. Later we will use it. Okay. So we have five. We have five. Now. After the number five, just like this, straighten it. Perfect. And I will cut. Okay. So that's what we have. So now we will use these two together and we will use our 20, you can use 24, 26. I just have 26 very thin wire. Um, what I did is I started from from the middle but I didn't go inside so yeah so we we start from the middle let me let me just do it what okay we have five so we start from the middle I just wrapped twice in the thing one in the loop okay there we go now we can bring our little component that we just made and we can push it a little bit so it can sit like nicely in that little dent, dent here so I do once together one one here one around this one and together again so we have basically two wraps here and one in between and that's enough for holding those then I do again we will repeat we have two in a circle just in a circle one one two two in a circle then we do again together two two together around that one and two together that's it and we put inside in a circle one two three three actually and that's it and I will cut cut that over here and so it's it's so it's between the wires so push nicely so the end is right in the middle of that that's it and we continue doing the other side because we did two remember and then we add together remember to do around just the one that with the bubbles and then again two if it's spaces like this and you feel like you wanted to can bring that closer with your pliers and now we go inside in the one we just simply uh, make it look the same one two then the wire after the two we go between between those last one together together around 
this one and together again. It should be enough of space. And then you go inside in the bubble and make three and end wire. So one, two, and three. That's it. And I always cut uh, so it will be between. If it's like in this case, I can put in the middle of the circle there, like somewhere that will not catch. And if you wanted to put a little glue on those wires at the end, it's possible too. So I like, now we have to deal with this tail. Because see, I have it here too. Like there's a little wrap here on both sides. So you just go around that. And when they cross here, I will simply cut. Cut right there. And you push your wire gently. Will not. Um, it will keep the form. The same on the other side. Go behind, right nicely around. And when they meet, you cut and make it sit very, very nicely right here. Okay. Now your component is done and be closer there or short like a visually so it's look the same from both ends. That's it. I'm done. And now it will be fun time to decorate. So um, I decorate my own with um, I have a lot of like beads like metal got this from international jump show it's a beautiful shape see how it's like five points i really like it it's a metal but they are so tiny so i use i make rosary link i make here um if you create something like that you can also start it from the middle then make it smaller smaller legs on both sides and i use some chains between and these two and some stones here and now i put the chinese crystals on the, on the bottom with just two guys i i think you can create it's the it, they are so light these earrings i know it's a lot of um even though it's a metal too and copper is very light you can use gemstones they are not that heavy either the tiny ones and you can create very long uh, earrings. I noticed that they are now start to be in style again. Uh, I see a lot of in the magazines and I thought, why not? Let's make some long, long uh, earrings that, that will be flexible and um, with the different colors, you know, that's really, really cool. Uh, I hope you enjoy video and it can create a lot of beautiful earrings for you or your friends or your family or for sale same i think i will do with them um, because that was um i did it before i think i will do um, almost like a choker so it will be very close to the neck but i think i will remove these from a chain and i will probably make just a stick just a larger one will attach those and instead of these chains i will switch and i will make rosary linking because it will be more delicate instead of the stick chain um yeah just i was thinking it could be matching one eventually when i make something that can be added to it right like a like thinner so what are your thoughts what do you think um that's what i'm planning to do tonight making more earrings like that with the different colors with the different different seed beads and maybe something matching that can go with that guys i'm so blessed that you're watching me if you can share share um and i will see you next tuesday with some cool videos thank you for watching and i will see you next time